Today I'm going to be reading The Night Iceberg by Helen Stevens. This was one of my favourites when I was younger, and I'd really like to share it. Tofta was cross. That was her jackrabbit that the baby was chewing, and that was her favourite storybook that the baby was scrunching. Her mummy said she had to learn to share. But this was her very own bedroom that the baby was going to be sleeping in now. I don't want to share, said Tofta, but she had to. That night, an iceberg floated past Tofta's bedroom window and stopped. It looked peaceful and beautiful. It looked as if it didn't belong to anyone. That's going to be my iceberg, Tofta thought. And I'm not going to share it with anyone. She thought about what she'd need on the iceberg. Her favourite jumper, which was really her dad's. Her jackrabbit her best fishing net, and a tin of sardines, in case she wasn't very good at fishing. She tiptoed down the path and jumped onto her iceberg. The iceberg drifted out to sea. Tofta danced around happily. At least she had something that was just for her. But then... Pit-pat, 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 pit-pat. Go away, said Tofta. This is my iceberg. The penguin looked as if he thought it was his iceberg. They both sulked for a bit. Tofta started to feel hungry. She tried to catch some fish, but they were too slippy. As she opened her tin of sardines, Pit-pat, pit-pat, pit-pat. Go away, said Tofta. These are my sardines. Oh, all right. Just one then. They had one sardine each. The penguin nuzzled Tofta's arm. That felt nice. You can be my friend, said Tofta. But you can't have my last sardine. I'm saving that. All of a sudden, the penguin dived into the sea. Where are you going? cried Tofta. Then she heard. Pit pat 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 It was five hundred penguins and they all wanted Tofta's sardines But I've only got one left said Tofta Reluctantly, she gave it to the littlest penguin. The littlest penguin snuggled up to her to say thank you. He felt very soft and fluffy. Tofta gave him a cuddle. That felt so nice. That Tofta made a big decision. She said to all the penguins, Would you like to share my iceberg? I can show you my sliding game. The penguins were very good at Tofta's sliding game. They played for hours. At last, everyone was tired. So they all gathered round and Tofta told them a story. It was about a little girl who had a mum and a dad and a baby brother and how she sailed away one night on her very own iceberg which she shared with lots of penguins. They played together until the little girl was tired. And she said, 
I want to go home now. But it was dark and cold, and she didn't know the way. The penguins tucked her up in her great big jumper, and Jack Rabbit and the littlest penguin snuggled up to keep her warm. Then, all the penguins dived into the sea and guided the iceberg back through the night. <clears throat> all right through till dawn, all the way home. To where her very own baby brother was asleep in their room. Tofta tipped over to her brother's cot and put Jack Rabbit in beside him. Wake up, she whispered. I have to tell you all about my iceberg. The end. I hope you enjoyed that and I'm planning on getting back into reading these again.